Athletes and workers, such as firefighters and miners, are frequently exposed to hot environments, which poses a significant stress on the body. Heat acclimation can reduce the impact of heat exposure, but are there sex differences between men and women? Males and females respond differently to exercise in hot environments, where females have lower sweat rates and are more frequently diagnosed as heat intolerant compared to males. This may put females at a greater risk of heat-related illness. However, little is known about whether males and females adapt to heat in similar ways, a topic we will explore in today's episode. Hot environments pose a significant challenge for the body's cardiovascular and thermoregulatory systems. Hot air temperatures make it harder for the body to get rid of the heat it is producing while exercising causing a rise in core temperature, or hyperthermia. With hyperthermia, the heart works harder, which can make a given exercise task feel more difficult, and athletic performance can be impaired. Studies tracking the results of many marathons show that the hotter the temperature on race day, the slower the finishing times. This was true for both men and women, with slower runners being more affected than faster runners. One of the best ways to prepare for exercise in the heat is to acclimate yourself by exposing yourself to heat over a period of time beforehand. This can be done through sauna exposure, but a preferred method is through multiple sessions of easy to moderate exercise in hot environments. As little as five sessions is often enough to cause significant cardiovascular and thermoregulatory adaptations. These classic adaptations include a lower core temperature and heart rate, as well as greater sweat rates for a given exercise bout in the heat. Importantly, this makes the exercise bout feel easier and can ultimately improve athletic performance. Me and colleagues at the University of Brighton investigated whether there were sex differences in the time course for adaptations to a heat acclimation program in eight males and eight females. The participants performed 10 days of heat acclimation in an environment that was 40 degrees Celsius with 40% humidity, similar to a hot summer day in Arizona. The participants exercised such that they raised and kept their core temperature at 38.5 degrees Celsius, up from a resting level of about 37 to 37.5 degrees Celsius. At baseline, day five and day 10, the participants performed heat testing, where they ran on a treadmill for 30 minutes at nine kilometers an hour and a 2% grade, also in 40 degrees Celsius with 40% humidity. Heart rate, sweat rate, and core temperature were measured to look at sex differences in both the amount and the time course for adaptations. Males experienced significant thermoregulatory and cardiovascular adaptations after only five days of heat acclimation, where they had lower resting and peak core temperature as well as reduced exercising heart rate. Interestingly, Females achieved similar absolute levels of adaptations, but it took them 10 days to do so rather than the five in men. The heart rate and temperature improvements seemed separate from sweat rate changes, where females had higher sweat rates after just five days of heat acclimation, but males took 10 days to see similar improvements. Taken together, sex-specific heat acclimation programs may be an emerging hot area of research. I hope you enjoyed this fascinating glimpse into the world of environmental physiology. My name is Kate Wickham, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Environmental Ergonomics Lab at Brock University in Canada. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and check out our other short environmental physiology videos. If you're interested in longer, more detailed videos, be sure to check out our virtual environmental ergonomics symposium series. Thank you for watching and see you next time.